Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about... I forget. <laughs> so, we would like to talk... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh god. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about storage, organization, and a few other tricks that we learned to make life in our camper a little bit more comfortable. We've tried to leave links to everything we've covered in the video in the description below. Now let's go. We got the shoe organizer in one of the dollar stores and we, we cut it in two pieces. We used a smaller section for shoes that we wear on a daily basis and we attach it with the command hooks. They've been working really well. We're actually surprised that they lasted this long. Uh, it's been almost nine months of us traveling and they're fine. We use this longer section for the shoes that we don't wear very much and it's much heavier than the lower section. So we secured this extra weight with screws and fender washers. We use this wire rack to organize all of our stuff. We have toilet paper and paper towels over here. And we also have this box for miscellaneous stuff that we don't really use very often, but it's nice to have it. We also like this system with these boxes because they stay in place. But if we want to lift them up, it's super easy to do. We wanted to bring a printer with us, so Scott built a shelf for it. And the shelf holds the printer up high, so we have the storage underneath it. We also love our puck lights. They are touch sensitive LED lights, and we use them in almost every cabinet. We added these wire shelves to organize our food and dishes. We also secure them with these zip ties so they don't move when we drive. I think we got them in Walmart or possibly Amazon. We also got this paper towel holder on Amazon and we added this Velcro piece so it doesn't bounce off when we drive. We use a lot of command products in our camper. We use bigger command hooks for our towels and our coats and we also use smaller command hooks for our kitchen utensils. We had to figure out the storage solution for our knives, so we got this magnetic knife rack and it keeps our knives easily accessible. We also got this little basket from our previous apartment where we keep our sponges and our detergent and it's been pretty handy. Um, as you can tell, I said oh because I stutter. So as you can tell we have our toothbrushes in here, that's because we used to keep them in the bathroom but then we realized that we would normally brush our teeth here. So we decided to just store them here in the kitchen. We've had a few problems with water filters. We broke a few, uh, we would forget to secure them and they would leak all over the place, they would break. We also tried storing them in the sink, but then they would chafe the sink. So our current solution to this is a couple command hooks in this bungee cord. We have this large drawer where pots and pans live. We use this wire organizer to make them stack neatly. Probably the most important upgrade that we did is installing some additional ventilation. We had a factory fan installed here, but I decided to remove that and put in one of these Max Air fans. I will link to the fan in the description below. We like this fan the best for a couple reasons. It has a remote control so we can control it from bed. But also because it moves quite a bit of air. In fact, I think it probably moves more air than most of the other fans on the market. We also like the fact that it has 10 speeds rather than the traditional three. But we didn't waste the fan that was in here we move that into the bathroom. So we actually have two very similar fans so we can move a lot of air through the camper. So one of the other big problems in a camper is moisture buildup. And we found that a lot of the moisture we had in our camper came from our towels drying. We used to hang them on the door hooks over there but they never seemed to dry. So we decided to hang up a string between the two walls and we just hang the towels on them. It keeps them nice and open. We run the fan and they dry much faster that way. So in our tiny little bathroom, we actually made quite a few changes. The first one was to replace the original sink that came with this. It had an issue where it just wouldn't drain. This is an upgraded sink that we added and it's much nicer. It has a fold down faucet like the original one did. However, this sink drains properly.
And once again, we used lots of command products. We ended up using this little command soap holder, which we really like because it drips and dries much faster. We also have this command squeegee, which we use for actually squeegeeing the walls and the mirror. And it hangs there and doesn't fall off. Our camper, which is the new Camp Cirrus 920, came with some extra storage in the bathroom and we needed to come up with a better way to store things in there. So we got these wire racks, which allowed us to organize that space better. So after a few months on the road, we had some problems taking showers. We needed, I guess, a different angle to use occasionally. So we stopped at a local RV dealer and we found this little contraption right here, which we leave it here most of the time, but we can also swap it over to this side now which gives us a different angle to shower from. Also, this white piece allows it to swivel so we can angle it back this way and then point it at us. Once again, we took advantage of some more command products. We use this basket right here to hold all of our shampoos and other bottles. We also use one of these little cups right here to hold our razors. Another mod that worked really well, which isn't really a mod, more of just an addition, is this shower mat. It drains well and it keeps your feet from getting wet in between showers. It uses suction cups and it stays in place which makes it easy to pull out and clean when necessary. Before we headed out on the road we took the back seats of the truck out so that we had additional storage for all of the other stuff that we used. We carry extra water and those are each six gallon jugs. I just set up this storage system, which uses these old bins that we had from our old apartment. This is 550 paracord. It's attached to the seat belt bracket. So it's very strong. My idea is we, we only put light things up here. So if we were in a car accident, we don't have anything of major weight coming at our heads. We have a sleeping bag and toilet paper and paper towels. And then underneath here, we have some of the other heavier things. We have a lot of tools and things like that. So we took the seats out. And one of the first things I did was I built this, this shelf. And in the rams, there's a couple of brackets on the back wall that allowed me to mount this and it's, and it's hinged. So this will actually lift up but at one point I had legs here, which came down through this gap and rested here. But it made it very difficult to access the things underneath here. So instead, I used, again, 550 paracord. I attached it to some brackets back here. It comes forward. And I use just these couple screws underneath here to separate it. It worked better and it allows me to tension it. That comes up to our pull handle here. I put this piece of rubber here to stop the chafing. It comes back down, goes around the screw, up and over, and it goes to the other side where I have a similar setup. Comes across over here, around, same system, and then back. And there's a name for this knot. I can't think of it right now, but it allows me to adjust this. Also, the reason I had it go from one side to the other is so that it would be somewhat self-leveling. I still have space above it. I can kind of see out the back window, but with the camp around there, it doesn't really matter anyway. Then I've used these bins for tools and a lot of our sports equipment. We have boogie board and helmets and some tennis rackets in the back there. Down here, there was also these, these fold down, but I didn't use them. And there was a gap, so I built a platform back here. So I just used these bins today. This works very well. I had to make a little um, extra rope this is uh, just pull it and it stays wherever you pull it to some type of cam. So 
So this seems to be working pretty well. I was curious if this would chafe through, but we've driven this about 10 or, 10 or 12,000 miles like this, and it's been absolutely perfect. When we're ready to hit the road, we throw this shower curtain over all of our stuff in the top. It protects it from prying eyes. It also helps reduce sun damage. It doesn't cover things perfectly, but we have tinted windows, so it's pretty hard to see inside. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any ideas on what we should make our videos in the future, please let us know. See you guys next time. Bye. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious.